minutes to get you a look of the weather. Let's check in now. Storm Team 3 meteorologist Sean McAday. Now, Sean, what time can people expect to see those storms rolling in later today? I think it's going to be after 7 p.m. And for some folks, it's going to be a bit closer towards 10 p.m. It does depend on where you are, but do know that Minnesota sees it first. Places in North Iowa will see it second. So North Iowa, you'll already know what's going to happen because, uh, you know, really what's going to happen for you because you'll be able to watch, look to the north on the radar and see what's happening in Minnesota. In southern Minnesota, it may not spark north of our viewing area. It might spark overhead, which means it might hit the Twin Cities. It might not. It's kind of a coin flip, but it certainly will storm in some spots later this evening in Minnesota. 58 right now in Mason City, a little bit of a cooler start than in Rochester, where temps are in the mid-60s, and dew points in the upper 50s. Certainly starting to feel just a little bit sticky, but it's not that humid. 64, though, is a warm start to the day, and with winds out of the southwest, it will get much warmer. So it's a nice start. Uh, you can go for a run outside. It's, that's probably the best time of day to do that is right now if you want to go for a run because it gets very hot later this afternoon. And then when temperatures are peaking, you know, upper 80s, here comes this cold front out of the north. And that cold front arrives with these scattered showers and storms, which we're currently seeing to our north in northern Minnesota. Clear skies this morning, mostly sunny, if not entirely sunny at times, just a couple of light clouds. We're quickly working through the 70s already by 11 a.m. We're at 80 degrees and we're in almost the mid 80s by lunchtime. The chance for severe storms today is a two out of five risk from the Storm Prediction Center, which typically means that you see maybe one or two severe thunderstorm warnings, which it makes sense to me because with how hot things are going to be later today, there's a lot of energy for whatever storms fire up along the front to get going. So this evening, the timing is going to be 7 to 11 p.m. It's going to first start in Minnesota, then move into North Iowa. Again, moving north to south, right? Threats are going to be wind and hail. If some of these storms get really strong, there's a chance for wind damage or hail damage. So let's talk about the timing of this. I'm going to give you the latest data. First, I'm going to give you what I showed you before, and this is the computer model which a lot of people's phone apps use. So what this is showing is at 7 p.m. you got a couple of storms just firing to our north in Zimbroda and Wabasha. That just moves a little bit further south. By around 8, 8.30 p.m., starting to see some storms. Albert Lee, Rochester along the front, Austin, just starting to see that as well. Four City, maybe something getting going ahead of time. I think that's a little bit more likely closer to 9 or 10. By around 9 to 10 p.m., that's now moving into, uh, into Mason City. Austin's probably seen it by then. And then it continues to push through the rest of North Iowa. Fillmore County, probably closer to like 8 or 9 p.m. But also, I'm going to show you a different computer model now. I didn't show you this last time. This is the latest, latest. This updates every hour. And this has things moving in a little bit later. So this is a trend to watch. So I think 7 p.m. at the very earliest for Rochester or anywhere in our viewing area, there's a chance that it could be a little bit later. This one tends to run a little bit slow. So in, in this scenario, it's probably closer to Rochester and Albert Lee around 9 or 10 p.m. So, you know, 7 to 11 p.m., that's the window that you're aware of tonight. Tomorrow's a beautiful day to get outside, mostly sunny skies, upper 70s, it's dry, can't get much better than that before a couple more chances for rain, which will hopefully help out our drought conditions later this week. All right, thanks, Sean.